We told you not to let the suspect out of your sight. My apology, sir. But I never th thought she'd run away. Lynn is our angel. I, I mean, friend. I mean, she's like family to us. Angel, friend, or family? They all run when they have the chance. Do you have any idea how many years it's been since my wife ran away? <laughs> what the f- We're somewhere. Were we? Uh, that's a good- Oh, we just- we just got rid of, uh... You just murdered a man. I, I just murdered a man, yes. Damn. <laughs> Smashed again. Let's get back to Lynn, I think. We're definitely we're going somewhere. Are we going somewhere? Uh, Play that guitar. I think what I need to do is mess with this umbrella first, and then we can go. Yeah. All right, there you go. Play the guitar, Johnny. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm Dean. Oh my God. That's Donnie. Four, four, four ghosts. Oh, hold on. What, what the fuck was that about? I, I unlocked the thing. Hold on. <laughs> uh, this funny background. Was that a dude that's what I thought? Objects. I guess it's objects that I unlocked. What? It, did you? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> you touched every thing in the junkyard, maybe. Or something. Whatever that was about. Why are you going back up? No. Shit. You just- you saw- you saw an achievement and you lost <laughs> sight of yourself. <laughs> Anyways, I'm Dean. You lost sight of what's important, Dean. That's Donnie. I'm Donnie. Where's our AD? Fucking stupid. My throat hurts. Let's get- What? <laughs> are you okay? E yeah, but we're doing all these little voices. Yeah, that's yeah, true. that's fair. I'm next. just glad I haven't had to do the stupid voice that I did for the friggin' uh... The- the mystery man. The- the hitman man. Can't- can't trick that. <laughs> okay. Don't turn You're tricks going on You're going to the Ray. phone, right? Oh, yeah. What? Don't What's turn it? tricks on Ray. What the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> Damn. Jesus. He's an old man. Well, okay. He's doing the voice. He's doing the voice. <laughs> it looks like congratulations are in order. You erased yet another death. But I haven't gotten any further in solving my own mystery, though. But that woman holds the key. Don't forget that. Lynn, huh? Now that she's alive again. She's probably still being detained in the super's office. She won't be able to pursue her case without the freedom to move around. I'd better go back to the super's office and see her. That sounds like a good idea! Alright, super's office, it is. Is it pretty Or you could go to the chicken kitchen. <laughs> I could, but I don't think I could do anything there. <laughs> I decided to go back to the office where Lynn was being detained. With her change, with her changed fate, her story was sure to change too. And maybe that would lead us in a, some new direction. Now that Lynn is alive again, I wonder what she's doing. She said she was investigating an important case tonight. Could that case be connected to me in any way? I'm not wearing my glasses, I can't read shit. <laughs> you could grab them. Too late. Alright, obtain an illustration, new song, changing fate, and let's save and continue. Hell yeah. Chapter 5, 8.34 p.m. Night's just moving slowly along. <laughs> yeah. When Lynn lost her life for the second time, she was being detained on suspicion of my murder. But I saved her, hoping to solve my own mystery. Living creatures can choose to live their lives in one of two ways. 
They can either submit to their fate or they can try to change it. Lynn is definitely in the second camp. As soon as I got back to the junkyard superintendent's office, this fact was really brought home to me. She's already gone and also dead again. <laughs> Fool! We told you not to let the suspect out of your sight! My apologies, sir. But I never th thought she'd run away! Lynn is our angel! I, I mean, friend! I mean, she's like family to us! Simp! Angel, friend, or family? They all run when they have the ch they all run when they have the chance. Do you have any idea how many years it's been since my wife ran away? What the oh, fuck? Damn, blue detective. <laughs> Phoenix, Phoenix and Maya struggling in this universe, huh? Yeah. I, I'm very sorry. I have no idea, sir. This is clearly this is Phoenix after the first game. <laughs> huh. You'll never make detective at that rate. Now find Lynn. Yes, sir. Remember how the DS version had that one random case where he was super depressed that Maya was gone? <laughs> yeah, well they had to add an extra case because just, just the first four cases, like they- It like, just all of a sudden, yeah. Yeah. one case with like different mechanics Yeah, and touch stuff. Screen, yeah they took full advantage, I, I get it. If, it. if Inspector Cabanella gets word of this, it's all over. Oh shit, man! I'm sorry, man! <laughs> <laughs> so our red-headed detective escaped, did she? But I just barely saved her a few minutes ago. Whew, she's fast. Well, I guess I'll look around for leads. Alright, leads. Well, there was her notebook. Damn, straight for the notebook. Lynn's notebook, sad and forgotten, sits behind the bookshelves. Who could she have been calling on the phone before she hid it there? I wish I could find out. Oh yeah. What? See if, if Detective here has any interest in getting that notebook out. Oh, uh... Yeah. Because you gotta go see what they're about. Yeah. A step ladder. That old pigeon man. Do you suppose he's carrying out some sort of research here? Look at all these precision instruments and complicated devices. Hello? D Hello. Yeah? <laughs> what are you doing? Sir, I think maybe this is how Lynn escaped. Through here. Oh shit, it's an incinerator. <laughs> she couldn't possibly fit in that tiny little elevator. Oh, I don't know, sir. Lynn is pretty slim. Fool! Don't you think... Don't you know that women can make themselves appear slim through fashion? To this day, I still don't know how much my wife really weighs. These detectives got wife problems. <laughs> I'm very sorry. I had no idea, sir. <laughs> what the fuck? Huh. You'll never make detective at that rate. You, you won't make detective until you understand a woman. <laughs> until you understand that you, you should be upset with your wife? <laughs> what? That's a requirement. <laughs> All detectives mistrust their wives, dude. <laughs> anyway, where is that old pigeon man? Oh, him, sir? He went through the door behind me, sir. It's got a sassy walk. Yep. It won't open. Apparently, that door leads to the basement. But it's currently locked, sir. These instruments, they're all very suspicious. You'd better keep your eye on that old man, too. Yes, sir. Great, now that guy's gonna escape. 
Trick time! Yeah, right. Trick time! These photos look pretty old. Pictures of little fragments of rock. That old pigeon guy has some pretty strange taste in wall decor. So... Yeah, I don't think uh, we're getting anything more out of those guys. Yeah. So, I guess here... Maybe... We finally get to go... <laughs> what? Home. Oh, shit. A step ladder. There we go. This man reading the guide. I promise Apparently. I'm not reading the guide. <laughs> oh, this is Lynn's notebook. If Guy give this back to her, it might spark something between us. Uh, what to do, what to do. This is a very complicated matter. Dean's like anti-throwing for content. <laughs> It's Sorry. like doing research for content. I'm not doing any research. Research for anti-content. Listen, I, we, we watched it. What, the, what, the, what, the, what have you got there? What, this? Oh, uh, this is, um... Wait a minute. Is that... Yes, sir. It's Lynn's notebook. Notebook, eh? Come to think of it, there was something about that in the report. Something about her looking at her notebook and making a phone call. Yoink. Wait. Wait. So that's a thing that happens in this timeline now? Yeah. Like he remembers that? Oh, I guess that makes sense, because that's how you would get to the outside. Yeah. You had to... Get him to call the outside to yeah. get outside. Okay. <laughs> yeah. There was no way that didn't happen. Yeah, true. This must be it. This telephone number with the big red circle around it. Aren't you curious to know who she was calling? I am. I really am, sir. I'd like to know. Oh, do you think she has a boyfriend? <laughs> But I don't have any ulterior motives for wanting to know, though. No, sir. No, sir. This number might be an important lead. I'd better check it out. She might be talking to my wife! <laughs> Good time. Dean's still avoiding the basement. Yeah, well... Why?! I can't go in there! There, see? There's literally nothing for me to do! <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Just sling your ghost tendril around. <laughs> round in another man's basement. You get to put the, the phone. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, you want me to read that now? <laughs> After you sk <laughs> I bet this detective never lets his prey escape once he gets a hold of it. He's got a something, something tight grip. He has He's a got death, death grip, grip on, on the notebook, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, hello. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, man. Okay. He remembers. I do remember. Hello, to whom am I speaking, please? Y yeah, hello? <laughs> Dean, Dean jumped on I this mean, one. I know, yes. <laughs> this is a criminal investigation. We need your cooperation. Hey, I know that voice. Is that you, Detective McCall? Detective Winston Payne McCall. <laughs> Damn. Winston McCall. Oh, is that... Officer Bailey? What's up, sir? You usually don't call this late. Oh, uh... Did you get a call from one of our detectives, Lynn, earlier? From Lynn? Yes, I did. She calls every night. Oh, my? Maybe she senses it's about to happen. Did she say anything special? No, not really. Is something wrong? Yes, well... <clears throat> I might be contacting you again if I have any other questions. Trace complete. It's a number. 
I'm going to file the report down at the station. I need you to be vigilant here. Excuse me, detective, but... What is it? That notebook. Would you mind if I gave... Uh, never mind, sir. This man, like, going from simp to stalker. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, going from, God, that's kind of cute to desperate. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I think it started out desperate. <laughs> yeah. huh. Just stay on your toes. Damn, he took the notebook. Yoink. All right. Trick time. Oh, yeah. Let us go to KMR2675. I guess, right? Yeah. KMR. You, gotta, you gotta follow the, 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 the trail. Follow that trail. Sure. Oh, shit. Yeah, here we go. Look who it is. <laughs> what are you guys thinking? Come on! It's, it's gotta be one of us. What do you think he sounds like? <laughs> What's his character? What was this guy's character? I think he's just kind of the straight man to Bailey's nonsense man. <laughs> sure. <laughs> what was that call all about? I heard you say Lynn. You know what, looking at him, he <laughs> looks like he's bored, maybe kind of a slacker in a way. <laughs> yeah. He's a little bit more playful. That's that's the thing. He's more playful to juxtapose friggin' Bailey's constant anxiety, man. <laughs> I don't really know. If I had to take a guess, though, I would probably say something's going on with her. <laughs> the only place in the world where nothing is going on is inside your brain, Bailey. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Look at this diva. What is that supposed to mean? I mean, I know what the words mean. That's not what I'm asking. <laughs> That's my way of expressing indignation, putting it in the form of a question. He didn't know what the words mean. <laughs> I just hope Lynn's not doing anything crazy. I'm a fan of hers, you know? Oh no, he's also a sim. Everyone loves Lynn. According to my log, Lynn has been calling here nearly every night as of late. So let's see. This is the place Lynn took all that risk to call, eh? But what exactly is this place? Right. What do we got? We got some monitors. We mostly got monitors. Hey. Hit that memo. Oh, I was just saying. Oh, it's let loose. Oh, yeah. Actually, let's look at this real quick. Screen shows rows of tiny rooms. The rooms are really, really small, and you can see right into them from the outside. I suppose the open bars keep the rooms airy, but I wouldn't want to live in one myself. I wonder where all these little rooms are. All right, so now... Hey, what's this? Oh, that? I wrote down my duties for the night, so I wouldn't forget any of them. You can't keep them in your head? It's not like you have a ton of duties, after all. Use a little brain power. Damn, he is slain. What are you talking about? Weren't you the one who just said nothing was going on inside of my brain? Huh, didn't think you'd quite take it in that direction. <laughs> Jeez. So let's see this important to-do list of yours. Nine o'clock, take prisoner C-38 to the telephone room. Yes, he just made a request to use the phone a little while ago. Nine o'clock, huh? That's when Lynn usually calls. Well, we can't let her talk to him tonight. Rules are rules. Ah, uh, poor Lynn. I sure wish I could comfort her. 
Simp. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? That's my important duties memo. That's okay. I got it all memorized for you. Well, it's your duty to guard the telephone room, you know. Just make sure you do your job when the time comes. That's the place. This man got a fucking cup of wine or something, dude. He's drinking on the jarb. <laughs> oh. oh shit, it's her. Oh shit. <laughs> now you gotta talk to yourself. Yep. Hello? This Good. is the future you chose. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I forgot. I'm sorry. If, how could you forget? This introduction was being the person Lynn was trying to call. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't have much time. Please let me talk to him. I'm sorry, detective. I can't do that tonight. You can't? But you always let me talk to him before. Well, uh, the telephone room is already reserved. That's why. Oh. <laughs> Damn. You but, went for the actual sniffle. But, by the way, is something going on with you tonight? What? Why do you ask? I got a call from one of the detect other detectives a minute ago asking about you. Uh, oh, really? Oh, uh, I don't think it's anything important. Officer Bailey? <laughs> do you think you could keep this call just between us? Even if only for tonight? Damn. I... Uh, oh. Well, I gotta go. I'll call again tomorrow. Can't believe she's <laughs> murdered again. <laughs> oh boy. Well, I guess I better call the detective division. Hold on there, Bailey. What? Don't tell me you're gonna report that call from Lynn. What else can I do? It's my duty. Just write it down on one of your important to-do lists. And then I can wad it up for you and throw it away. You mean you want me to keep quiet about it? Well, isn't that what she asked you to do? Some strong emphasis you got there. Maybe on the. Maybe it should have been on the red word? No. The emphasized words? Well, yes, but. Tonight is kind of a special case for us. Can't you make an special exception for my Lynn, too? What the hell, people? Man is mad. Look, sick. everyone is just all over. Look, She's there the are two, there are three, four women in this universe. <laughs> An old bitch, <laughs> Lynn, <laughs> and two kids. He just kind of shouted them. <laughs> She's. I was gonna say she's the only fucking woman in the whole precinct, apparently. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <sighs> special case, huh? All right, you win. Oh, you forgot one. I just remembered it. Missile. <laughs> missile is... I, 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 missile doesn't have Debatable. <laughs> but who? D yeah, he can't. Of course he can't say it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Maybe I could. But <laughs> don't, don't, don't. It's fine. Someone later. Someone later. Someone yeah. later. Yeah. Someone we haven't run into yet. I don't know what they think is special about tonight, but for me, it's my only night. Lynn is on the other end of that telephone line. I'd better hurry. All right. To MHR. Damn, you could have had a friggin' route to the detective's office too. <laughs> Alas. Friggin' not Bailey. Got to ruin things. Oh God, dang it! And there she is. You had one job! <laughs> I look away for one second! Yep. Lynn! Lynn! Oh, why couldn't it have been me instead? 
Uh, no use as a police officer. It should have been me! Damn. I mean, he's right about one thing. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> it looks like she's dead. We better not touch her. Who did this? Who shot Lynn? I do. <laughs> Getting the cat excited somehow. <laughs> He's responding to these voices. Hey, excuse me, mister. You talking to me? Oh, what the fuck is this? This room. There aren't any other exits besides this one, are there? <clears throat> Do you see one? Huh? Then how did... We must have one of those mysterious locked room murder cases on our hands. One of those cases where the murder vanishes into the air. Yeah. One of those cases where the murderer vanishes into the thin air into a vacuum. Damn. <laughs> Just go find a real detective. I'll keep watch here. Man's got no yes, respect. <laughs> This is really awful. Go find Cole Phelps. What, what's awful? <laughs> it's Danny Santos. DeVito was talking to Piccolo. <laughs> oh, is that what you're doing? <laughs> well, it's how it turned out, yeah. God damn. What a terrible turn of events. He agrees with you. God, we're just having a whole episode of people talking to themselves. <laughs> so now a locked room murder, eh? Things never get dull for our redhead. I know of a certain inspector who might dance around at the thought of a mystery. But no mysteries for me. Not when I can rewind time and talk to the victim herself. Guess it's time to go back and see the truth behind this murder with my own eyes. Alright. Evelyn, poor, poor woman. Wow, just right into it. Yep. Can't touch anything else. <laughs> but, <laughs> I died again! Girl! <laughs> Girl! I thought you'd be a little more grave under the circumstances. Yeah, well, this is the third time after all. It's scary what a girl can get used to, don't you think? You probably don't want to get used to dying. <laughs> Frankly, the way her mind works is a whole heck of a lot scarier to me. So what happened this time? Who shot you? I don't know. What? I'd like to know myself. Who could have done it? Who shot me? What are you asking me for? Oh boy. Guess I'll just have to go find out for myself. Okay, you just go do that. Hurry along now. I get the distinct impression I'm being used here. Okay, looks like it's time to go back. Back to four minutes before your death. Alright. What <laughs> horrible misfortune befell this poor woman. Yeah, right. <laughs> 844 Maintenance Building Basement. Before death. <laughs> How long has it been since I locked this room up in darkness? I once thought the truth could be discovered in darkness. Maybe it's just that the time wasn't right. It was him. Danny DeVito did it. <laughs> wow, she really can just fold herself in there. Are you sure? <laughs> De Whee! What a cool dude. Whee! I feel like that took more time than if you just walked back down. <laughs> Yeah, okay. <laughs> do you, what do you didn't say? Oh, no. <laughs> 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 
man burnt his asshole off. <laughs> there she goes! <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, God. Okay, now she can see. I was gonna say, she just tripped and died. Is that what happened? <laughs> oh. Yeah, I remember this. Dude. <laughs> I'm <laughs> really fortunate that that gun just was angled perfectly. <laughs> a, like a smaller I mean, person or a bigger person. Whoops, you missed my vitals. Or, oops, it just missed entirely. <laughs> oops, shot him right in the face. <laughs> That's the truth behind our locked room murder? So the murderer was a mechanical murder machine? Murder machine? When I came into the room, it was pitch dark, so I turned on the light. That must have been what set it off. The murder machine, I mean. Can you please stop repeating the words murder machine? That old pigeon guy must have made it. But why? What could be the meaning behind this weird room? Oh, I'm starting. I think I'm starting to remember why. <laughs> oh, shit. Anyway, you'll have you'll have to find some way to stop that creepy machine. Look, I'm just saying, guys got you know homemade so, like, homemade uh, burglar defense. <laughs> Dude, really, really want to live out his home alone fantasies. Okay, <laughs> I want to play a game. Inside this room is a light switch. You can't see anything. You turn it on, and you'll die to a Rube Goldberg machine. Make your choice. Once Cupid fires his arrow, it's all over. Pee-wee's breakfast machine doesn't make breakfast at all. <laughs> You're the sausage in this situation. God. You're about to be. Alright, uh, are we going to go, go, go fix this, or are we, we go next time? What do you think? Uh, we, we, we can do it next time. Okay, okay, sure. Alright, we'll be back. With you. I'm investigating a case right now. A murder case, and I'm doing it alone. A murder case? All by yourself? Yes, well, that's because the case was closed a long time ago. The culprit is already behind bars, forgotten by the world. <laughs>